Ah, yes, the sun. Truly a wonder to behold, floating seemingly endlessly through the vastness of space and time, providing a light and life to its local planets. Or, in this case, one planet. <laughs> What's going on guys? Log.zip here and welcome to two amazing maps that I had to show you guys. Now I know a lot of you just recently got back into school and there's a solid chance some of you are going to be learning about planets and space and stuff. So I thought today I'd show you two awesome maps that replicate the solar system in Minecraft. Now we're going to look at this first one that we're currently in. Second, I'm going to quickly take you over to a command version that you can add to any of your worlds with just two command blocks. But this one is awesome, so stay tuned because at the end I'm going to go into detail about what we got going on here. Are you ready for science, friends? Hey, good, that's a great thing because that's what we're going to learn today. The first solar system I want to show off to you is courtesy of the Spellbook. Now the Spellbook has made a command version of a solar system in Minecraft. You're going to need two commands. But before you do that, you're going to need the following. Press, just put this command in the press tab and then press enter and you get yourself a command block. You know how it works by now, I hope, hopefully. And if you don't, that's how you do it. So the first thing you want to do is place down a command block. Placed, placed in, paste in the first command. It's in the description of this video, don't worry about it. And then power that baby down. Let it do its thing, let it build. You're going to notice something a little bit different about this command, and that is obviously that it needs a second command. And a little command block will pop up right here for you to paste it in there. So you can just go into the description of the video, grab it. Well, actually, it's going to be a link to the Spellbooks page, and that's where the commands are. But once you do that, you put, place the second command, I can't talk anymore, paste the second command right in there, power that guy as well, and it's going to go ahead and do yourself a favor and finish up the map, well, not the map, but the command. Look, I'm so flabbergasted right now, okay, man, I can't speak a little bit. So, once that's all said and done, you can actually delete these command blocks. You don't need them anymore. You can right-click the sign to get rid of this. You can right-click this to get items. And if you right-click that, nothing happens. Sometimes something happens. Right-click the sign to get your items. And this is all you're going to need to understand. You'll notice everything gets set to nighttime instantly. And you'll be doing yourself a good favor if you went ahead and turned clouds off. Because, lo and behold, check out what happens. You have three items here. Destroy Milky Way, which you will use when you want to destroy the Milky Way with fire protection <laughs> that you just created. And you've got a little bit of a star guide. So what I want to quickly do is spawn in a Milky Way down here and then show you instead what you should do if you're a cool guy or girl, you know, if you're a cool human. Sorry, if you're a dog watching this, I don't feel bad for you. So you spawn in the Milky Way and where's the planets, right? Okay, that's fine. Well, you, you have to walk in the sun and then the planets will spawn in. And you can see, we quickly left the sun because now you can identify all the different planets. Do you guys know the different planets? I sure do. It's Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn. How many, are we missing a planet? Oh, okay, well, maybe it's because I didn't, all right, there. Now they should all be there, unless they're not. One, two, three, four, five. Look, I spawned this in earlier. So or Neptune is Neptune's a diamond block. It takes a little bit for that baby to spawn in. All the same, if you want to see the Milky Way working, all you got to do is stand within the sun and you, and then check it out. Now, it can kind of be hard to see from your screen here, but if I've done my job properly, you can see right above here how it should look. And it's a little bit speedy, but the really cool thing about it is just the fact that you can add this to any world. It's got some supreme portability. And not only can you just add it in any old world, but you can pretty much put it wherever you want. So, have are, are all the planets in now? I know I saw a diamond one. I know I saw that diamond block somewhere. If one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we ain't gonna worry about it. We're gonna destroy the solar system and try again. So to destroy the solar system, you just gotta drop this redstone block titled destroy Milky Way and it will destroy the nearest solar system which we just did don't you just feel a little bit evil you just wiped out the Sun and planets potential life on them you don't know you don't feel bad oh and neither do I now another real cool thing you can do and you can add this to any world as I said is the following type in the command slash set block space one of these squigglies, it's near the top left of your keyboard, trust me unless it's not I'm sorry space squiggly space squiggly and then just type in stone 
and then you get a little set block stone. Or you could just build up, but only plebs do that. I'm just saying. You could spawn in the Milky Way on top of this, break the stone. Now you have a real clear sight, but you could get an even clearer sight. Check this out. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, baby. Look at that. Kind of looks like the other world. But now we'll go ahead and stand in the sun here. Check it out. And now you can see. Look at this. This is neat. This is super neat. I like this. Although there's still a planet. Uh, listen, I want you to believe me. We're going to try and see if we can spot. See, there it is. Did you see it? You s did you see the diamond block? There, There is a diamond block. It's around here. It's... This is so bad. It's it, it hangs out in the cluster. Watch. I'm going to follow it. I'm going to follow it. I'm going to follow it when I see it. Did you see it? It's right there. It's so hard to follow. I got to I gotta like be there right as he appears. Oh, there he is. You see? Watch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I told you all the planets were in here, okay? Now, this is just in a world. You'll see if we were to just drop down. Check it out. We're back on the world. It looks a little scary right now really scary but when we head back up look at that that's scary we're leaving earth however there is still the book and i just want to quickly go through the different pages show you about yes i did say show you about each different planet so mercury it's a light gray planet and it's hot and stuff and it's got a real short uh do you sure all right you can pause these if you really want to read it venus it's a uh, god of love and beauty and uh, and some other stuff 224 orange dark red Earth, I don't know anything about that planet. I've heard some good things. I heard the the, the entertainment down there is just awful. Um, no intelligent life to be found at all on planet Earth. That's unfortunate. Mars is a red planet. People say that there could be living. I like how like our, our biggest prospect for planet Earth right now is Mars. And then Mars has like one and a half sentences about it. This is like, I know it's a real sentence. It's not a real sentence. Jupiter! Biggest planet in the Milky Way. It's got some very fancy Oh, I didn't see any rings on here, man. Are you telling me this isn't a faithful recreation? You monster. Saturn. Also a big planet. Also has some nice rings. Saturn's rings, I'd say, are better than Jupiter's rings. Hmm. I'm not even going to say the name of this planet because someone's going to say something. It's a light blue planet, and this planet is one of the coldest planets. And then Neptune's a real dark, beautiful planet. It's his favorite planet, even though it likes to disappear off the map more times than not. Settings. There are two commands. Click to destroy. Oh, so we can oh, so you can also you can also destroy planets and solar systems with your book. So isn't that something? That's real pleasant. Spawning in, and I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, baby. Oh, baby, get at me right now. Get at me. No way. No way. We're going to, oh, my, wow. Let's do it. Come on. We all spawn in. You know, it's a real shame that we can't get them all running at once. But this is a real neat looking, it's like a planet. It's like we're, like, in space right now. That's sick. So that is Solar System in Two Commands by the Spellbook. And now we're going to wrap things up to the next Solar System thing. Ah, nothing like a nice hot tub relaxation in the sun. Now, that was pretty sweet, wasn't it? Not too bad. Two commands at a solar system to your world. But here we are, back at the original map. And I have to say, Silver Tuxedo has done it with this map. Sun? Sun? He's done it, son! <laughs> See, because the sun signs right. Anyways, so let's just go ahead and take a peek at what we got going on here. We have the sun in all of its beauty and we have earth orbiting it and we got the moon orbiting that but let's just stop things for a second okay and see what's really going on here silver tuxedo using one of the latest minecraft 1.9 snapshots has made a faithful recreation to scale there's a little asterisk right behind that to scale that i'm gonna tell you about in half a second the earth the moon and the sun Floating endlessly through space, as we said before, when I was being real deep over there. Remember that? It, it wasn't that long ago. Anyways, <laughs> he has made this. Link to it's going to be in the description, similar to the commands from before. But the reason I say asterisk behind to scale here is because there are a couple exceptions to that. First of all, 
What is to scale are the Earth and the Moon. Those are to scale. See, like, the, the Moon is this size of the Earth. That is properly scaled, right? And in addition, the revolving times upon which we need to turn this back on are to scale as well. The things that are not to scale are the size of the sun, because apparently if this were to scale, the size of the sun would fill the render distance, even on max settings, <laughs> and you'd still see nothing but sun. And the distance between the sun and the earth over here, not to scale either, that would be like further than Minecraft can even render. However, the revolving times around which this is going is it's the scale so for example you can see on the side here the time we're currently on month 12 but orbit so year 28 right now it's crazy and you'll notice it'll be right back around here when it is time to ooh, i see us i see an interesting planet over there once it hits 12 again it's going to be rearing its head right around here it should be right around the corner you see bada boom bada bing as called to scale. In addition, this means that the moon is also scaling around once a month for 12 times per rotation. And just look how cute they are. It's amazing. It's beautiful. Now, there are some really cool things that you can do on this orbits map that Silver Tuxedo has made, and that involves changing your fall score. First of all, you can obviously turn off the orbits by hitting the switch in the sun, and that will cause everything to move. You can get a good glimpse at it, like right now. Or you can enter some really fun scoreboard changes that will allow you to do some really cool things. So go ahead and type in scoreboard, players, set. You can press tab and it'll put in your username, it puts in mine, or you can put in at P. And then change the follow score, it's currently set to zero, change it to one, look what happens. You'll actually follow the Earth around. We're getting teleported with this Earth. Now here I am in a nice lovely I mean, look at it. It's so smooth and crisp and beautiful. Now look at that. What if we... I bet, I wonder how this would look. I mean, look at this. Look at this. This is like... I'm going to use this for a cinematic at some point or another. I have a feel. But what if we change the FOV further out? Can we see the sun, I wonder? You can see... Oh, whoa. <laughs> that sun looks like it's seen better days. Looks like someone attached weights to its feet and let it hang there for a while. So with the field of view, you can kind of see the sun, although because the field of view is set to Quake Pro, it looks a little bit wonky. So you can follow the sun by changing the follow score to one. You can switch back to normal by changing it to zero. I just had my, my cool cinematic looking thing on. Or if you change it to follow two, it will draw the path that the earth and the moon are taking and revolving around. Check this out. This is some crazy stuff. It is being graphed live as these babies are moving around. The moon's got its little cute little loops. It, it's forming like an adorable, look at that, the true beauty of the one planet solar system. It's actually really cool. This is really cool. Now, if you type in follow three, it will slowly begin to remove that as well. But I think uh, I'm a ho ho. All right, you ready for this? We're going to go follow one. And now we're going to do follow two. Oh, it doesn't, does it not let me? Oh, okay. Well, way to, way to kill the fun. You can't do them all at once. That's okay, though. I thought it'd be neat. But all the same, you got some awesome commands to mess around with. Who knows? Perhaps in his spare time, Silver Tuxedo may make an update that has all the planets. Would not get on it. That would probably take up so much map space. It wouldn't even be feasible. Alright friends, that's gonna do it for this little factoid tidbit about solar systems redone in Minecraft. I hope you learned something. If you didn't, it's not my problem, man. I tried my best, okay? If you want to see more fun little videos like this, then do make sure you drop a like rating on the video. Much appreciated. It shows that that's the kind of stuff you want to see from the channel. Of course, you gotta be subscribed if you want to see that stuff as it comes out on the regular. Big thank you once again to the Spellbook as well as Silver Tuxedo for these awesome creations that they have made. Hopefully some of you find them sweet enough to download. Both downloads are gonna be in the description of this video for you to check out for yourself and show your other friends. Thanks so much guys for watching. Have a great day, night, morning, wherever you are, and we will see you later. It's time to explore the stars or, or something real deep like that. Yeah.